Welcome to Factorio Death World. My name is Nilo. So this is a brand new series, but look, it's not a brand new base. So how does this work? Well, this is uh, the first episode of a new series after the launch of Factorio. I'm going to take the base that I have been previously playing right up to the launch, which is called, it's called Escape from Novice, and it's a Death World setting, and we are going to continue it, but I'm relaunching it because right now the focus on the first series was settling on a death world and uh, seeing if we could survive and building up a base in a kind of structured way once we have this base up and running now we have launched one rocket now the objective is that i want to launch one rocket for every one of the patrons who are supporting the channel and i am happy to say that there are lots of patrons who are supporting so this means that i need to scale up this base not just launching a rocket here and there we've launched a single rocket sent the good saint cabbage off the planet and uh, there are many more patrons who deserve to get off this godforsaken hellhole full of biters so i will be launching a number of rockets it's somewhere between three and four hundred as it is right now so i need to scale up the base but it is still a death world base so it's going to be tons of interesting challenges in terms of uh, how do we scale up how do we expand and since this is also 1.0 the first thing we're probably going to do is actually take a look at our research and get focus on the right thing, the new Spider-Tron that was just released. So we'll just uh, work on this. Our science is extremely bad right now, and there are tons of things we have to fix, but uh, that's gonna be the issue in this episode. So for the people who have been catching on to my starter series, the new player experience, the let's start automating, then this series will be very different. In uh, this series, I'll be grabbing blueprints from my masterclasses without too much explanation. I'll be, uh, I will not explain the details of the mechanics because I expect that the people who have already been following this series do know these kind of things. I'll be mentioning where I get the blueprint from, how I do the additions, of course. But the progress, uh, the bait, this series here is mainly focused on forward progress, while the let's start automating is focused on explaining mechanics. But that doesn't mean you can't watch all of them. This one is going to be scheduled four days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And it's going to launch at 6 p.m. Central European time. And that's going to be continuing until we have launched every single rocket and uh, we need. And we have uh, already, since it's a death world, you can see how many places. So this episode will be focusing mainly on figuring out where our biggest issues are, explaining how the base works and uh, sort of making a plan for what is to come. We definitely have some interesting things coming up, coming up. Uh, but a lot of it is a lot of restructuring because the focus has been on launching a single rocket and now the focus has to shift. Let's walk through the base and uh, take a look at where it is. Let's start with actually one of the key problems. The, coal, the copper here is coming in. We only have copper coming from this location. This is all the copper we have available. We have recently expanded out here and we have tons of copper which is fantastic however this copper needs to come in by trains so we're going to make a train line that's going to be one of the other issues we have iron here this is all doing iron and we have steel up here uh, made it remote steel here this is one of the few cases where i'm actually using electric miners because i did not have any fuel around here Uranium is another issue that is a giant issue. I only have 64,000 left. And all of my uh, dark uranium, U-238, has been converted into ammo up here, which is yeah, probably not a great thing, to be honest, but um, it's done now. We do have good uranium out here and down here as well, and we will expand to those. And we have our little nuclear power plant and let's look at power before we go in power is actually interesting because we have plenty of solar power if we look at this amount of solar power this is 6700 times it's 60 that's how much that is 400 peak performance it can deliver and it's certainly not even doing that that means actually as it is we are starting to run out here we're not really getting all the dark uranium in, so i want to disable this because there really shouldn't be a need for making this at all so we're going to basically disable our nuclear power plant also because i want to have trains but we can come into the trains later on 
The base here is dictated very much by the fact that it's on a death world, so I didn't have enough space. That means a lot of things that should not be next to each other like this are next to each other because I simply did not have the space for it. It's a normal bus base, iron, copper, steel, stone, stone bricks coming in. I have red and green science, military science. I've doubled up this part, but it's also, as you can see, consuming quite a lot of uh, ammunition here. And some of this probably has to be redone. No, it's 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 actually fine. But you can see this is using quite a lot of copper and the, this is our main issue. We have plastic is looking great. Red circuits, tons of red circuits being built, except that again, copper is running out. And so that's really the one we have to focus on. And that impacts the red circuits, which is impacting everything else. Yellow science is stuck, is idling. Blue science is idling. Batteries are working here. Uh, rocket fuel just going crazy with rocket fuel that's going to stall at some point i guess yeah it's going to stall uh, I'll, I'll finish on this side first this is the true problem as always purple science purple science is lagging because of lack of red circuits and that is the real deal here this is our science and our solar panels and laser turret build up on the other hand we on the other side we can go in we have our hub working as normal and we have low density structures, blue circuits. We unfortunately have a big base here and I've, I'm creating an absolute ton of landfill because I need to be able to remove this land and remove this or remove this water as well to reclaim it. Let's continue. And we have our rocket, rocket launch. There is a little Nilas icon here because that's one of the few things that are different here. So when I launch a rocket in this base, it will uh, it's launching a patron. So it has a name on it. You can see all the names are coming up here. All the names that for the patrons that are here, I'm going to continuously update it. So new patrons joining will be added to the list and uh, patrons uh, who uh, choose to cancel will of course be removed from the list. That's how it goes. This one is capped so that it will not launch any more rockets. It will just fill up, but it won't launch any more rockets because I only will launch rocket when these containers are less than 1000. Okay, I need to see. Yeah, okay, they are, they're, they're in trouble. This is a bad place and and it's because these are these artillery i just placed the artillery and now they go ham on this giant base and uh, that's not really very popular with the biters look at that just absolutely destroying this base and generating tons of attacks it just is what it is i'm going to delete all of these indicators because now we have the beautiful awesome indicators whoops here if you have not watched any of my recent let's plays either on twitch or on YouTube, then you will know that I have changed to using this debug setting because it's awesome. There we go. We don't need these anymore. Only that one. Yeah. And that one also needs to be here. Oops. You know, this one would actually be a lovely one to stop because I have absolutely no need for it. Except for making... Actually, I think I'd rather... No. I do need to make 16 of them, so uh, we're just gonna cut cut this one off there, yeah? so it doesn't build anymore. That's important. Okay, so that's basically where we are. We have solar power. Solar power should be able to feed what we have. We have this one. Now the main goal of what I want to do at this point, like if we look at sort of short-term goals, I want to be capping this one because then I can, if I can move my perimeter out here, I get more space because I'm gonna have a train line here and I'm gonna have a train line here. And uh, only when I have the train lines can I start bringing in this copper. I just simply don't want to build it in like eight lanes up here. So I'm gonna take this part plus this one will feed all these eight lanes. That's gonna be one the first target we want to do. And uh, then from there on, I want to expand upwards like this on both sides so that I can get more iron and copper production. The oil, we probably need to move it out. I don't know, maybe out here or something. I don't know, some anywhere we want to. The nuclear power will be phased out, I think. And of course, working on the Spidertron, we'll be using the Spidertron primarily to clear out things. You can see here, the artillery is placed all around the base and it's basically there to prevent them from expanding. So whenever some uh, biters choose to expand, we will have our, our artillery just keeping them at bay. We can of course also keep them further at bay. If we look at pollution, it's an absolute mess and I just can't, oh, that's funny how it's such a sharp line. Uh, there's no way I can prevent it from being overly polluted. If we look at evolution there, 
it's 89.79 that means it's very very close to behemoth biters coming in so that's also lovely which means it's probably a good idea for us to start clearing out this space uh, because that's going to be our first thing we want to clear out the space so we can extend out here and uh, let's start working on this because uh, getting increasing our copper is absolutely the most important thing uh, we don't have any science, we don't have any production, unless we get red circuits rolling faster and red circuits are dependent. Uh, this is not a very efficient way of doing this. Uh, red circuits are dependent on copper right now, so that's uh, really what we are focusing on. Uh, this one also probably needs to be taken out. I'm going to just take a look at this, because of course we also need to nuke these things, because if I'm expanding out, then absolutely it has to be done. I can't expand out yet because I have to, have to be able to clear these biters out. But what I can do is I can bring in another blueprint. This one. No, I don't dare do this. I right click it and then I do a copy. I'm not really very friendly with these uh, blueprints here. I'm going to put it in my inventory and I hope it's a copy. Uh, where is it? That one. I'm going to put it down here and I'm going to go in and check that I have actually made a copy. I'm going to call it copy for death world there this is actually a blueprint that comes from my new twitch series and it has some pretty good defense perimeter that i want to copy and it also has some good city blocks however if i look at these city blocks they don't fit with my city blocks and i'm not going to move my city blocks as tempting as it is but what i can do is i can remove or move the alignment here so i'm going to move this um That one maybe let's see oh it's close it's close isn't it it just has to go one down maybe ah the other down up down whatever is that the set time one two try it there we go. It works. Now that's our new city block pattern. And I'm going to do the same with our solar panels. There we go. That's going to have to get the same treatment. And that's going to be just dragging it down here. So it's one, two, three from that side. And I'm going to guess like that. Ah, it's close. It's close. What is actually up? It's uh, one off either up or down. I can't really tell. Let's try that way. Perfect. And there's a very, very subtle difference, but it's uh, it's just going to be fine. This one places, as you can see, up in the top left-hand corner, that one. Uh, I think I want to actually build these, to be honest. Boom. And I don't mind actually getting more. Oh, that's going to strain my copper. Uh, but I, I do need it. Also, I'm going to probably take this out. Okay, let's start or move over here and just make sure that we have actually cleared out things that look like biter nests. What about all that? That's probably nothing. Okay, that's kind of annoying. So let's just, oh, no ammo in range for this? Damn. All right, so we're running out. Let's see, wells. Okay, there's a few things here. So let's get our robot port here. Uh, we will be able to expand out. I'm going to get the expansion out for all of it. This is beautiful that we can do this. And however, it does have like massive problems because I can't do this connection. That one, if you keep looking at it, then there is definitely an issue here. Yeah, so let's start taking that one out. And then try again. Good. That should work. That will connect here. Uh, power will not connect so easily. I'll just have to take some of this out. And here comes the biters. That's really annoying that the biters decide to come in right where we want, want to go. Out. I could, of course, go out and uh, deal with them, but don't feel so safe about that. Right now, I have just a running running men's setup here. I can extend it, I can make it better. 
But we are definitely not in a position where I can run out and do the deal the damage to him. And this is also, you know, I actually think all the way down, I take this one. All the way down. Because it's going to block everything. Everything there. Yep, got it. And that will probably make it easier for at least the power poles to go down here. There. Okay, so that's going to be one side expansion. I'm going to keep looking out here, gauging what's uh, going on. And can I go through? Eh, not really. Do I have any of the good substations? Nope, I don't. Then let's request it. I don't even have anything. And uh, let's see, let's just put it up here. So let me get 100 of those. If we need it, we need it. What about, uh, do I have any here? Just give me 10 of those. Oh yeah. And I just went outside the logistics area, so nothing works. Damn. Logistics area is kind of a mess in here, so I have to be a bit careful about where I take it. But our objective is moving out here, claiming it, and then establishing the defense. However, what I need to be aware of, uh, hold on this one. Let me just check what this one is constrained at. 1K? Nah, I don't want 1K anymore. I want 600. I don't need that much, I think. There. And if I take these into that location, then it will actually go in first because we want to get those in first. What I will have big issues with is this line. I will need to get some oil up here. We have this puny little oil facility and uh, well, Right now, the oil is actually coming in quite nicely. So the question is, could, should I actually just steal the oil from here? Doesn't seem quite right, does it? And all of this just got, I was kind of expecting that to happen. There we go. That one would also have been fine. And we are slowly expanding out here. I'm just going to punch some holes here and there and running out. It's I'm super vulnerable here because I don't have any defense, but it must happen. We can go out here expanding. Actually, I have no recourse if I see biters. Well, I have running away recourse. And I guess that's something. Boom. Uh, right, also, radars. Radars are super important out here. Uh, let's see, if I make them... Yeah, I want to make radars in the top left corners there. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I did. I didn't get my... I didn't get these before going out. That was kind of stupid. Oh, well, let's go back in and wait. I'm just punching a hole in all my walls. It's great. I mean, there's plenty of rooms for the biters to get out. So let me just uh, mention that uh, uh, the whole thing here is uh, hinging upon the patronage. That's kind of my way of doing a tribute to the patrons of the channel. And uh, that means if you want to support the channel and the work I do here, then uh, pledging on Patreon is, of course, the best way to do that. It also gets you the recognition of launching here, uh, launching into space. And uh, I think that's nice. And it extends our base so that we need to get a bigger base. And that's always awesome. It forces me to make other decisions. If I just had to survive and launch a rocket, then I would be done, but I'd just have so much mess in my base. And this way, did I even get into the robot network? No, I didn't. I wasn't even in there. I need to get in here and just stay there for a short while, while these are actually coming in. Yes. Right, so you can see, and then we will have, that's gonna be another issue, this one. I'm gonna have to take out the reference point. And that one as well, I have to take out the reference point. These are some really cool uh, designs. And they will be placed out here. And that will be my perimeter. Boom, like that. It'll be good. And I have 600 landfills, so that should also help in sort of evening this out. Is there anything we need to explode away? I don't think so. This one's actually finally, finally starting to clear out this area, which is good. 
A spider drone is being researched. It's gonna take a while, but uh, you will get it. Okay, I've got 40 of those. Is that um, is that something? I still have 60 inbound, so we'll wait for those 60 while until we go out, and I'll definitely try to place all of this, including radars, since we have the radars as well. Are they coming? There they are. <laughs> also lights, tons and tons of lights. That's actually, that should have been 100. I'm using so many lights for this build. And, well, I guess that's going to be... Nah, let's get those in. We are going to need it. And let's get... All right, here comes the last ones. Boom. So Spider-Tron will take some time. Also remember that even if we have the Spider-Tron, we also have to build it. These are being built. These are being built. And I have to remember that radar don't actually need to be here as long as they are in the next area. I don't like that this one signals that there's a there's a biter nest up here. I don't think there is. No, no biter nest, good. And now we have radar coverage. I'm gonna go down and get the radar coverage all the way down here. And it also gives us the opportunity. Let's make sure that this, oh, it's disjoint. It's disjoint, I don't like disjoint robot networks. I very much dislike it, to be honest. It's about the worst thing ever. And once this one goes in, we do we actually have a continuous network. Come on. What? Do I not have it? Sure, there. So now it's one network. Let's check here. There are two networks. One is me and the other one is everything else. Great. And that enables me to build this one. Because this is going to be the big build. What in the world is that one doing? I just placed it in a silly location. It's supposed to be right there. That one. And that one. Cool. That'll get done. We'll take these. Uh, we actually shouldn't be doing it. And I'll now take this one. So what we're building here is going to be our main defense. It's going to use a lot of walls here. Te technically not at all necessary. But let's just go out here and build it. It's going to take some work. And what we need to make sure is actually that this line comes out. Ah, that's actually pretty good. So this is all about tapping this area for defense so we can claim this minuscule copper location. But I can't start mining it because it's generating tons of pollution, triggering these to be to attack because, they're, okay, they're, they're kind of attacking once in a while. But I don't want them to attack all the time. All right, let's move down here because we've got a little... Oh no, this is the wrong way. Yeah, okay. Um... Let's see, where do we want to build this? Wow, this is just a plethora of colors. This one has to go out. And how about getting it out here? Or here maybe? Yeah, there. So it goes down to this line. And I'm going to try to be polite here and make sure that we jump over and under. And let's see. Yeah, this is going to be fine. And that means this part here is kind of safe. Kind of. And it's going to just absolutely destroy our capacity here. There. That works, that works, that works. Get that one in, get this one in. Oops, only on one side, please. And go. All right, so lots and lots of things are not available right now, but we'll, we'll, we'll get it eventually. We'll get it, don't worry. Just desperately trying to, get, let's see. This is correct, but we don't have all of that down there yet. 
And one of the things that I think we actually need to do is try to be a bit uh, leaning forward on this. So I'm going to take this out immediately and also take this out. How far? Only up to this location, I guess, not that one. Because I still need to be able to reach in there. Okay. So the point here is that if I take these out, it, they'll be much easier to get up into this area. And I know that some people will be yelling at me already in the comment section about ah, buffer chest. I don't really care. They'll get it. They'll get it eventually. It's going to be fine. Um, it's, it's mainly about keeping this base flowing. And I can take the next. I am keenly aware that they are all flipped the wrong way. So that I have to fix myself, uh, which would be a lot easier if there were like tr junk on the belts all the time. There, so it's coming up. I'm gonna wait for my robots to get in. Okay, so this is this is really good. I think uh, what I don't think is very good is the fact that I have something spawning already so close to us. I'm just gonna nuke it and hope that they don't eat or bite us, but we'll go directly in here. Oh, that's the wrong direction. Damn it, that is so bad. Oops, please don't do that. So they will probably attack down here, which is like the worst angle. It would be much better if they attacked upwards. Oops, yeah. Well, it is what it is. Belt here is got flowing, great. What are we being attacked? Yep. Something is being attacked here. Uh, I don't know if I can handle these biters anymore, just but with my manual coolness. I don't think so. Oh, okay, I just shot all my robot by my robots. Oops. Well, this sucks. Uh, we're gonna have to wait until we get some power here. We also have radars. Uh, do I have any robots in my inventory? Nope, none. Otherwise, they would be placed here. And I'm not getting any. Let me just check. Here's the here's the belt coming. Oh, I'm missing some radar further south. That's good. So one of these things. It's just as we have to scale up, we have to figure out a way to do it efficiently and effectively. And that's kind of what I'm trying here. Uh, we don't have any oil. That's going to be the major issue. But the oil is going to come from up north. So I have to make do with defenses without walls. Or without oil on, for the time being. So we are at this position. And only when we get up here do I dare sort of go out and start poking, poking this stuff out here. You know what? Do I? Uh, this is just super annoying. I don't need to poke you. Oh, we have the beautiful... Yep, please go up. Please go up. Please go up. Please go up. And, and I'm even gonna. Oh, shit. Do I. I'm just gonna stand here and hide. That. You will be going in. Where are you gonna go in? Just go in and hit this. This is gonna be fine because they will go straight towards target and they start munching on that one. I'll, I'll come back and. No. It's fine. I'm just gonna let them go in. Just let them do their thing. Slowly, gently getting up here. Um, do we think that I can take this? I don't know. We'll try. Yeah, not really. Ah, I'm probably faster than them, right? There. Ah, easy peasy. Now the repairs. Robots repairing each other. Little repair buddies. Okay, so this is getting up here and we are getting like the very, very rudimentary parts of the defense getting up here. Just get it in there. And what about the defense that was on the inside? I think they're actually sorted themselves out. Unfortunately, the... Yeah. Boom. That helps. Going up. It's so fragile, this expansion. I, I love it. I love these kind of things where everything is just way too fragile.
So yeah, good thing we're not in the death world where biters are gonna come in every all the time, everywhere. And can I can I send my robots out to fix this? Just wanna see if we can have how bad the this area is. Okay, the great thing is they cannot go through this. Right? They cannot pass this. This is excellent. So this is the only place they can come in. Great. That means this is the only place I need to protect with here. And don't need to go any further up than this. Or that one even. No, no, no that one is definitely. But all of this area, I have no clue what it is, but I want to just uncover it. Yes. Oh, hello, Biters. That sucks. All right. This is me defending the world here. Huh, a single green and I'd be screwed. That one? What? That's what I want to do. And I'm going to put this one in again. Get it in. There. I don't think I need this. Right? That's what I just decided. And don't need this either. And don't need any of this. But we can undo. Great. So at this point... Uh, hello, Biter. <laughs> cool. And I want to get things in. Okay, this is like the... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You are not supposed to be there. Hopefully that was an expansion team so we can get that, that out. All right, let's see. Now what we want is definitely to... Okay, the fact that we built this one is magnificent because now, look at that. They will actually start building the front part of the wall. Uh, let's, let's make sure we get a radar at this location. Boom. And also radar at the next location, which is probably going to be like um, a bit weird. Boom. All right, this is a ghostly defense of our perimeter, but it will get us somewhere. Gradually, slowly, we will get all of these roboports. How many roboports are we missing? We're missing 13 roboports. They'll get there. They will eventually. And all of the walls will get there as well. The fact that we get the walls, the fact that we now, I, I want to get one more thing in and that's super, super important. That's the, as we get the walls, if I can get flamers up there, then I'm good. I am solid. And the flamer oil was coming out on this path in here. And I feel we could actually start taking this part out. And maybe even get a little taste of that one. That's going to screw us up sooner or later. Hmm. How far? Uh, still pretty far. And I have to go beyond this, so let's take all of this out. Oh, I ran out. I ran out of that one as well. Well, doesn't seem like max distance. That. Here. That one, can I make more? Built. That is going to make all the difference. Oops. And that one. And I'm just going to pump here. I don't think a pull pump actually does much. But the great thing is, these are now filled up. If I go down here, then as we are building this, we now have a pretty solid defense here. Great. What I don't have is the return part for... Uh, 
this one has to be a loop. So that's kind of something we have to do as well. All right. I really also have to uh, remember that. Don't do anything. Oops. There. That gets you sorted. And let's see. Get you on the other side. And this one will be... I'll be good enough, right? No, it won't be good enough. Just get all of that out. And do we really intend to do this? Oh yeah, we do intend to do this. I'm just going to pave it across. There we go. And that's going to get us... Really? And get it in here. Sweet. With this one done, we now have the full network established. And that means all of this is now redundant. And there's, I mean, there's, don't get me wrong, there's tons of things we have to do here to make sure that, and this is the part I was always worried about, that I'll suddenly take this out. Great. All of this goes out. All of this goes out, because it's not needed anymore. And this one is just going to need a normal rover port. There. Right, already now we have, with <laughs> we're up to 14. How do we get up to more missing uh, because I just built some things here as well okay all right I am really happy about this we have now expended it and uh, extended it and we can now start tapping the copper which is going to be the one of the next big things so as you can see we are uh, we have a number of things we must do in this space and uh, it's all really yeah I think it's really interesting and fun these kind of things and uh, it's, it's definitely something else from my starter base because my starter base is very much just explaining the mechanics here, it's just applying it, uh, trying to scale up as fast as possible, trying to sort of really go on the edge when it comes to how little do we need in terms of defending our our um, death world base, because we're also gonna expand out here, we're gonna expand out there, those are all things we need to do eventually, but um, we now claimed a lot more territory, which we can use for solar panels, for example, and that would be really useful but it's time to wrap up so thank you very much for watching be sure to hit the like button because it's the first episode of a new series and it's going to be it's very different so i hope you want to see our death world uh, expand and sort of the the panic that ensues and we're halfway done with the spiders run how about that i'll see you guys next time until then take care and stay effective